Hi everybody, my name is Bobby Snelson, this is Tim Ford, Hi. and this is the first episode of The Couch. Uh, it's basically a short uh, video tutorials on new things that are coming out in the industry, uh, new technology, new techniques, right? time savers, issues that we've found, um, solutions Tips, to. Tricks. Exactly. All those good things. And today we're talking about using the iFi card, which is this little guy, to wirelessly tether from your SLR to Lightroom while shooting RAW. Yeah. Wow, what's this? Okay. So, whatever that was. So we're gonna walk you through the steps of how to how to set this up, and um, you're gonna see how cool this is. And it's a pretty cool workflow that we've uh, discovered here. So, yeah. So what 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 is the first step that we need to do? The first step. Well, this? the first thing you need to do actually is buy the parts, which I got all these parts. It was about ninety five bucks for everything. Um, you buy the iFi card I got on Amazon. You buy this card. This is the eight gig. It's the um, Pro X2, and um, it comes with this little USB adapter, so you can plug it into your computer and just change all the settings. And the other trick is, because obviously a lot of these cameras don't shoot on SD cards, some do, the 5D Mark II right. does not. So, you need an adapter. Now they actually make SD to compact flash adapters, which is that. So what you do is you get this little guy, take your SD card, pop it in, and boom, you've got a compact flash card right there. Now one thing you may run into, I ran into this, this is the uh, SD XC Extreme CF adapter third generation, which does work. However, there was a firmware update I, need, I needed to, uh, to load on this thing for it to work. Otherwise, the camera said, I don't know what this is. It just right. flipped out on me. When I did that, when I updated the firmware, no problem at all. I've been shooting with it for weeks now. It works great. It's pretty awesome. So. Let's run through the settings of you know, how this works. Um, so when you, when you buy your iFi card, it will actually come with a disk. You can install the software. You can also download the software from the internet. And it will look like this. This is the whole interface. And what you want to do is set it up so that um, your card is looking at your computer as to where to put the files. So it's going to say, all right, where do I want to put these files? When I wirelessly transmit them, where should I put them? you tell it to go to your computer. You can also use other devices. You can use an iPad, you can use uh, any tablet, any phone, any, any wirelessly connected device that will work with the iFi app or software, this will work with. And that will also take place without an actual network infrastructure being in place. That's it will point, actually yeah. create its own local network. That's a great point. Yeah, actually, yeah. The iFi card actually builds a little wireless network. So if you're somewhere out in the field, there's no internet it builds a little network, and we'll we'll show you what happens when you do that. So we'll go over here into the settings. These are the settings. So the first thing, the first tab is the networks. And if you go to direct mode, you need to keep an eye on this password right here because what's going to happen is it's going to build a little wireless network, but it's going to ask for your passcode. So write this down so that when you're actually when the card's in the camera. The computer will recognize the network. It'll say, what's the password for this network? You pop that in there, and you're good to go. So that's one thing. There's some other settings in here. I just keep this at the default. It's all fine. All right, photos. We're going to actually shoot in, shoot in RAW, so we'll go to the RAW tab. So on the RAW tab, click on Upload RAW Files to this computer. And this is actually where you're going to manage uh, what folder Lightroom looks at for the auto-importing. So I'm going to choose a folder I created for that purpose. And another thing is to look at is this do not create date-based subfolders. Don't, don't make any subfolders at all because that confuses Lightroom. So just no subfolders. Make one folder that you can put your files into. We'll go ahead and we'll choose that folder. I just call it couch. Okay. And now Lightroom is watching that folder yeah, for we'll, any new files that are being imported, correct? Right. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna set that up, yeah. Okay. So we'll save the changes. All right, so let's go ahead, get out of this. We're good to go there. What we'll do now is we will go over to Lightroom and we'll set up the auto-importing in Lightroom. So 
over in Lightroom. You go into your library module, go over to folders, and you're going to choose add folder. Back to that same folder we created for the um, importing. Just couch. Okay. All right, so there's no folders there. Now, the other thing you gotta, you gotta do is set up your auto importing. So under File, Auto Import, choose your auto import settings. And you probably guess what we're gonna do here. You're gonna go over to that folder we created, tell it to keep an eye on this folder. And if anything comes in here, it's gonna bring it to Lightroom. You can actually tell it as a secondary step to move the file to a different folder, which is fine. We could actually do that. And then also you can, there are some other options where you can add development settings, your yeah. metadata, and keywords all at the same time. So if you're at a particular shoot and you want specific keywords in there um, and metadata as far as copyright, uh, things of that nature, you can go ahead and have it automatically applied to there. Yeah, very cool. All right, so the next step now is to actually uh, test it. So we're going to go ahead, we'll go back to um, the iFi card, eject it. Now we are going to pop this in the camera. All right. Take a shot. Now what's going to happen here is you can take a shot. It'll actually, as soon as you fire off a shot, that activates the card. The card will start to uh, create the network, basically, and you're going to connect to the network. So that's what it's doing now. It's just yeah. creating the connection between the two. Yeah. All right. Now Lightroom should see. There we go. Now it's not the fastest thing in the world. These are all raw files, and this, this is being shot on a full-frame camera, so these are pretty big, right? Pretty big files. And that's a 5D Mark II. And that's the other thing that we should probably mention. You can do, um, you can store this on the card. You can store the files on the card, right? Or you can do an unlimited storage where it automatically starts dumping them onto the the laptop or the tablet or whatever, and then it will start as they're uploaded to the device, they'll be removed from the camera. Right. If you so want, you, yeah. You you basically have your limit would be the size of your hard drive. Basically. Right. So yeah. So there's the files we transferred wirelessly. You know, you can go to the develop module, you can start editing them. Right. And again as they're coming in, you could have an assistant editing these files. Um, and then of course being exported directly out as a JPEG or whatever to yep. the production company, whatever else needs to be done. Yep. So technically, uh, with this system, not only do you, you're greatly improving the capacity, the size of um, the amount of files that you can keep, but right. you're also now cutting down on development time if you have an assistant. Right. So technically, you could, um, by the end of the shoot, have the photos taken, and um, all of your processing done before you even leave the location you're shooting at. Yeah, that's right. And technically, um, given the circumstances, have the product already out to the customer. Yeah, that's true. Actually, uh, in the next show, we're going to show um, wirelessly tethering to the iPad. They actually, the Shutter Snitch app has the opportunity or the option to export directly to Flickr. Oh, okay. That's one of the you know finishing things you would do. You could say, all right, well, when I'm done with this, just go ahead and just upload to Flickr. Very good. So if you have a network connection, you could be on location somewhere and have the photos going right to a location for the client to look at cool. in almost almost in real time. Yeah. So pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff. So And again, this doesn't require any kind of network infrastructure. So you don't have to be somewhere that already has a wireless network set up or not for this yeah. This automatically sets its own uh, internal network. Up. Right. Exactly. Really cool stuff. So I think that's it. So this is gonna shorten down some of your, like I said, your shooting time on location. Yeah. It's going to shorten down some of the time that you spend going through the photos with the customer because, again, they'll be able to look at them on their device, whether it be a smartphone, a tablet, either one of those running iOS or um, Android. Android, yeah. And if you have the opportunity to have an assistant there doing the processing for you, by the time you pack your gear up and leave, everything for that job should be done, really. Yeah. So pretty cool stuff. Thanks for joining us for the first episode of The, the Couch. Couch. And again, um, next meeting will be a little bit further in, in detail into the iFi card. And we hope you guys enjoy it. 
and we'll try and put these out what every week or so hopefully every week yeah and uh and like i said if there's anything you guys want to see leave it in the comment section um but we hope you guys enjoy this so i'm bobby and this is tim and thanks for watching the couch oh yeah and you can catch up with bobby at bobbysnelson.com right and i'm at timfordphoto.com and you'll find all our G+, Facebook, all that stuff. Right, there, so. and these videos will be available on both of right. those sites, sites as well. Yeah. So, all right. Thanks. Thanks.